namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambodhasa so i would like to encourage all of you to practice continuously mindfully practice don't talk too much the talking is really very disturb for your practice so we have to control previous dhamma talk i think all of you remember about that we have to control our sixth sense door okay so only our mind door will open for our meditation object so don't contact many object so the 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 object all of you understand so breathing most of the people have been practicing anapanasati for the anapanasati we really need the mindfulness everybody know about the mindfulness sati the mindfulness will guard our mind we are control our mind not to go anywhere except our meditation object so our mind always need to remember in the mind why is my meditation object the breathing do i really feel the breath or not my mind is really interested on the breath or not you need you really need to be interesting on your breathing if the mind is not interested on your meditation object very fast Five hindrances will attack you. All of you have been practicing now nearly how many days? Do you remember? <laughs> so many days, nearly ten days now. Okay, coming to one week. So you know that how difficult to control our mind in the beginning. So we want to stay with the breath. We push too hard the mind to be on the breathing, but the mind keep on going out, keep on run away to every direction, to many places. You know. to many people so the mind is very unstable so when the mind is unstable very difficult to get concentration everybody can experience now so if we really want to get the good result we have to control <laughs> we cannot following our desire that's you know re five hindrances any kind of desire we cannot think and also had to cut off of course everybody has agree we all stay have you know a lot of development but this time i will control my mind i don't want to think in no important ones great don't bother. anger angry thought cannot get don't want to get angry feeling on any object must be happy must be met a lot of metta so we train meditation a part of training of taking care of our preset because of purification i want to get purification of our mind in our life so we get the preset okay slowly we increase No, so we are get more and more happy. <laughs> happy or not? Yeah, yeah. So we are get more happy. Like we will be more family. No, cannot be enemy. You know, must be family. <laughs> so we will be more family type. So meta will produce the happiness in our mind because of we easy communication, easy with each other with meta. So from there, a lot of happiness arise because of the happiness. we can control easily to our object we are happy to contact with the breath object understand if you are not happy we be uneasy or very dislike feeling arrive this life feeling or yourself this life feeling to other people roommate or everybody you don't like it very difficult to get happy feeling understand no? so we need to take care our mind to get a lot of happiness Who oh, had the happiness? The person mind is so easy to taking care with the meditation object. So in the end, you always get concentration. Understand? So many people have the meta now. Many people are happy feeling with the breath. That is very very good. Very soon we we'll get jhana. Try hard. Different people have different character, different hobby. Everybody know. Okay, the day I did explain that. this kind of character for the human beings do you still remember this kind of character okay some people are based on the greed some are anger some have delusion some have sada the faith in the buddha dharma sangha you know do do good things and then number, number five is the thinking type of person number number six is a kind of wisdom kind of person who has this based on this type of character for the human okay so after practicing of meditation a few day of practicing on meditation so everybody can realize roughly we understand 
you are anger type of person or greed type of person or delusion type of person, roughly we know. So most of the people who have, based on the greed type of characters, they always want to think about desire. We always don't, not interested on meditation object, boring to stay with the object. Always keep on thinking what I want, what I want. Many things, the desire, they want to get a lot of things in the mind. And I said, no, stay here, worry about family, how about my husband, how about my wife, my children. Attachment, they is based on the greed. Worry about business, worry many things. They is based on all our desire. We call it based on the greed type of people. Understand? So you can check roughly when I meditate, what kinds of thinking with me all the time? Who has kind of thought it's always disturbed me? Related with desire, or some people are anger type of person. Easily, oh, angry, angry, not happy. So greed, not much. They can control their desire, but anger cannot. I'm very straightforward, you know, I, but I'm very straightforward. I get easily angry, but I, my mind is very straight, if you like to say sometimes. So anger type of people is always not happy. So we can see during meditation time, the mind is quiet. Our nature will appear most of the time. So nature will show that what kind of thought with you. Understand? A delusion type of person always like to sleep, you know, not interested on anything. The mind always dry, you know. So Tina Mita, we call that strong and top type of people, you no? Know? Less wisdom. Also, Sada type of people, oh, meditate, meditate, no interest. Oh, I did, oh, I kind of dana I shall do. <laughs> After meditation, where I shall go and pay respect, where I shall go planning many things. So although good, but not related with meditation object, not so good, okay? So that, so we have to control to our mind. And my breathing, my meditation object is breathing object. So my mind must be with the breath. If not, too many times cannot control your mind, cannot move to the breath. Always disturbed by desire, 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 cannot stop. Attachment to yourself, attachment to your family or business. So we have to contemplate, we need to change meditation for object for a while. What kinds of meditation object we can change? If we have attachment to ourselves, worry so much our family, or oh, one day we have to die. Contemplating about that body, our marana no city. So we need to think about, oh, one day we have to die. After dying, no one will follow me. Your family will follow you? No one will follow you. So they love you so much, they will say that. When you die, they will throw you out. You know, even you're sad, you also don't like them after they die. So we know roughly. And also your property, whatever you have belong to you, oh, you have to let go. You want to bring, also cannot. So all we have to let go. So we know the truth that what will happen. So after that, we will die one day. So when we die, all have to let go. So why for we have to worry so much? Understand? So wasting time. <laughs> so we don't want to waste our time. You know, we have got very good opportunity. We will focus more on meditation until we get a concentration. Understand? And until we are very, very happy with the meditation object. So we can control. Cannot, cannot. Can control our mind. So who can control one will be successful? Who cannot control one is not successful? Struggle so much. Understand not. Understand? So the Buddha is saying we had the three kinds of Dharma, okay? Three types of Dharma, three baskets of the Dharma. The rules, and then the, the rules, and then, then also the uh, Sutta, and also Abhidhamma, three types of Dharma. So when we, in the, in the end, we can see the Sila, Samadhi, and Panya, three sessions. Morality, no? So we know already everybody has been keeping a precept for the lay people, easier that. For the concentration, the Buddha is bringing 40 ways of meditation object for the suitable type of people. So what kind of character is what kind of meditation object suitable? Based on that, if you can get suitable meditation object, very fast you will be happy with meditation object. When you are happy, only you will get concentration. That's why the Buddha choose 40 ways for that suitable meditation object. So just now we did mention that for the great type of person, if we had desire too much and a lot of attachment, we can say that who had attachment too much, the person can practice 10 kinds of asubha meditation. Asubha means contemplating about that body. 
after people die. The first day of picture on the body, and a few days later, the changing of the color and the swollen, you know, step by step happen. And they broken on the body and also everything. And this skeleton, ten step we have, you know. So every step, if you want to follow, also okay. If not, you also can choose one step. Just dying after a few days or the first day of dying position, just trying to concentrate on the corpse or skeleton. Skeleton in many people family. So if you want to concentrate on the skeleton, also easier. So you practice for skeleton, many people are successful. So the time of the Buddha in the beginning, earlier part of his teaching, he always emphasized about Azuba meditation, contemplating about that body. So easily can let go, easily can care about our attachment to the family or properties or that. That's why he did the kind of meditation, Anapana and later part, you know. So that's why we have desire, we know ourselves. What kinds of thoughts it keep on coming and disturb me, worry so much, then, oh, one day we have to die. When I die, we have, sure, our dead body will happen. So we will die, and they use like our body. Understand not? So in this way, when we contemplate, and also 32 parts of body, internal, external, all we contemplate, that can let go our attachment. And then, so don't worry so much for anybody, for anybody. So after for a while, you get more release for our suffering, our attachment in this way. So we can choose asuba meditation for a while. So after changing our asuba for the for asuba, oh, one day we have to die. Oh, have, then after that, what will happen? So after thinking about that, then we can let go. Then with the mind will more stable, and we can control to come back to the either anapana can compare to the Anapana city or if you are concentrate, you can do really can concentrate on a dead body, the cough. Can concentrate continuously one hour. If you can get skeleton, you also can concentrate on that skeleton for one hour. Continuously you think that there is skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. So the image will keep on stable to you in your mind. The image will come in and stable. After stable, you just watch that skeleton for one hour. Can enter the first jhana. Not only by only anapana, okay? So we have 40 meditation objects. So don't worry. If you cannot get anapana, jana, other object, we still can try. Understand? So I just want to encourage all of you. If you feel a really dislike feeling on the breathing, if you're really not happy and very boring, can change. So many objects, don't worry, okay? We can try tomorrow. So if you are okay, if your breathing is good, if you feel happy with the breath, if you get the nimitta, kala appear, don't change, okay? Well, drop. So keep on one object, either anapana or asuba or skeleton. Okay, you can choose one. Understand? That will be easier. So don't worry about jana, very easy. <laughs> for the second type of people, so for the three type of people, we have 11, med- 11 ways of meditation object, okay? 11 ways mean. 10 types of asuba meditation, contemplate about that body for 10 steps. With another number 11 is the 32 part of body inside all the organs. So we can contemplate about repulsive system of our body also. So 11 ways of meditation objects from there, you can choose one. So this is suitable for the great type of person. Number two type of person, anchor type of person, okay? Anchor type of person is suitable with eight kinds of meditation object. Eight types of meditation are four color casino. We had ten kinds of color casino. So from that ten kinds, four color casino, yellow, red, white, and brown color casino, okay? Four kinds of color casino and another four, metta, gruna, mudita, and ubaka, brahma, vihara practice, loving kindness, no? compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. So eight kinds of meditation object is suitable for anger type of person. So when we feel that angry, cannot continuous, no, cannot be continuous, very dangerous. So we have to stop and change our mind, okay? Change the direction and object to do metta to the other people or yourself. Everybody know metta. 
Sunday in the day I erase spring, how to practice yourself, how to practice the others. Samita or Guruna or there. So after that, if cannot, you do color casino. You think about white color or you look at the flowers or many white color flowers. So think about all the white flower. After for white, don't think about flower. Think about white, white, white. So the whole flower becomes white color. Understand not? So after you get a white cycle, so when you get a cycle, the mind slowly spread every direction. So in the end, your mind, inside your mind, everywhere you think about it, all a white color. This we call the white casino meditation. After you get a white color hey, in everywhere, then slowly we will focus in front of you one place on one cycle. Think about the white why white? Why concentrate on that white object for one hour? Also can get jhana. First to and fourth jhana, eight jhana, okay? So easy. Only we need to know how to contemplate our mind. To the, every direction can go to the meditation object if we are mindful. No? Understand? <laughs> so not to get angry. That's why we... I encourage all of you, early in the morning when you wake up, just relax and do metta about five minutes on flying position. Okay, after you get a metta, you won't be easily angry. You will be okay. So for the concentration practice, it's only just need to flexible with our mind and the meditation object. Make it easy, think it easy. Understand that? Okay, so number three, number one, great type of person, 11. Remember, you know, later I will ask one by one, okay? Remember, 11. For the anger, Eight, okay? Remember not for Brahma Vihara practice? For Kala Kasina, okay? Another one. Delusion type of person and thinking type of person is suitable with Anapana object, breathing object. Okay, so non 20 meditation object already for four types of character. Another one is uh, Sada, the faith type of person. The faith. Type of person suitable with six kind of meditation object. The kind of people, since you are young, you like to do good things. Always like to do with metta to the other people, to the other beneficial, and like to do dana, a kind of good things. Who like to do so roughly the kind of people. If you are really not interested in meditation object or the breathing. Sometimes, oh, last time I have done dana, I have the, I am very respectful about quality, the quality of Buddha, Buddha no sati, the quality of dharma, Buddha, dharma, sangha, dana, sila, and devata, the quality of the devata. So this kind of meditation object is suitable for sara type of person. So when you think about that, it will make you happy. Understand that? So then, so after for a while, all oh, boring, really not happy with Annapurna object. So look at the Buddha image. Oh, the Buddha doesn't have defilement, very good. Defilement in no loba, dosa, mohan, don't have great anger, delusion. So very good. So there is our hand. Think about Buddha image and think about the quality of the Buddha who made you happy. So after you get happiness, so you can carry on. If you are really interested and happy with that, you carry on with concentrate, concentrate on that quality and put an image. You also can get neighborhood at the jhana. Understand? If you are not okay, you don't want to continue with that, after you get a happy feeling, you go back to the breathing also easy. Not much wondering. We'll support you with the happiness from base or the sada and the happy. No? So the world is this kind of meditation object. Okay. Number six type of character, wisdom type of person. For the wisdom type of person, it's suitable with the four element meditation object. Contemplate the four elements inside. Four elements and also contemplating about Marana no state. One day we have to die. One day I have to die. Who have the wisdom only? They like to think that way. You see? Good. Then number three. And contemplating about the, and gonna, contemplating about the, t- the taste of the nirvana, you know, nirvana object, the quality of nirvana object. Who or if who can practice and this sort of one, the person easily can understand, can understand about the peace of nirvana, the taste of nirvana. We can contemplate about that. Also, one kind of meditation object for the Western type of person. Number four is a refusal about the food. Whatever we eat, the food and not to attach. So there's every day we all have contemplating for the food, reflecting for not to attach on the food. Understand? 
So do you still miss about chicken and pork? <laughs> you might miss, no? So are you okay or not here at the food? Are you okay? So then so if it's if not okay also, please forgive us, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> vegetarian center, so we cannot cook chicken, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> So for six kind of character, now we have 30 types of meditation object. Do you remember? 30 types of meditation object. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, very good. So another, we have 40, 40 ways of meditation object. So we have another 10 more meditation object. Another 10 is suitable for everybody, the Buddha said that. So another 10 is we have 10 kinds of casino. From that 10 kinds of casino, we already use up four for the Kala Kasina, understand? So we still have another six. Six kind of Kasina means the earth, the water, the fire, and the wind element, the space element, and the light Kasina, okay? So we have another six kinds of Kasina, understand? And then we have Arupa Jana. Jana means absorption, okay? First Jana, the first Jana to eight Jana. The first jhana to fourth jhana can practice for anapanasati. So if you want to go to the highest jhana, in material jhana, we can say that. First to fourth is material jhana. Material jhana is the body and the mind together. We can see in that Brahma place, and the first to fourth. So number fifth to number eight is in material jhana. Don't have body. They, didn't have, they don't have body, only the mind, consciousness. So fifth, six, seven, eight is highest. Understand? Now? So for this fifth, six, seven, eight, we need to be based on the casino meditation. Only we can go, cannot go by anapanasati. Understand? No? Only casino meditation. Only so from there, this casino, you can go like this. No, even metta, kruna, mudita, upaka, brahma vihara practice cannot go arupa jana. Can go only rupa jana and the fourth jana. Understand? No? So for the general knowledge, no? So now we have 40 ways of meditation object, no? Understand, no? So the, in the Sutta, in Bhidhima Buddha, it's very 40 ways, no? So from that, for different kind of character, we can choose from that. So we can adjust our meditation object, no? So be based on you, what kind of... If you are really interested to change the other object, so from the interview, I can explain detail what kinds of meditation object you want to change. So most of the, from our experience, most of the meditators, it's very easy to get jhana, concentration from anapanasati, when you concentrate on anapanasati. And then, and then some people, and then they are really difficult with anapana object. So we, sometimes I did change important the skeletal meditation. And skeletal meditation is very powerful. Who practice was skeletal, very easy to get concentration also. So these two are very, very powerful. So when I, I asked them to change uh, skeleton, after practicing of uh, one or skeleton, and then many people also can get the image clearly about that skeleton. So they can continue with that skeleton for one hour or one and a half hour, they can go jhana also. So some people after practicing for after practicing for why was skeletal meditation? So they don't because of skeletal meditation, keep on have to contemplate, thinking about that. So the mind is not easy to go away, not easy to drop. So after for a while, so they want to go back to anapanasati, very easier. The mind they can control easily, and then not much wandering. So from there, very fast they also can get nimitta and jhana. After based on the skeleton, we move to the Annapana also. Many people have been successful. So don't worry about that. If you are really difficult, we will change a little bit to the skeleton. No? So I want to explain to a bit of skeleton meditation. No? Who had difficulty with Annapana Sati, I want you to try tomorrow with skeleton meditation. Very easy. No? So. Everybody might have the experience about, uh, you might have the picture, you might see the picture of the skeleton, or real one, or the fake skeleton, okay. Okay, so you're just trying to recall in your mind, I want to concentrate on the skeleton, I want to see, so in the mind, 
the beginning, like imagination, like this. Keep on thinking about skeletons, skeleton. Also trying to recall previously what you have seen the picture or the real one. Real skeleton, if you saw that better. And then you're trying to remember. Trying to remember is recall back, okay? Keep on thinking back. Keep on thinking about the kind of picture or skeleton. So slowly in your mind, the picture will come out in front of you. The skeleton might be standing or sitting, doesn't matter. Sometimes you will be the whole body or skeleton in front of you. Either men or female, it doesn't matter, okay? The whole picture or skeleton. Sometimes not the whole body. You will see part, which part is clear, the scar, the head, or the shoulder, or the, any part of the body. One piece, one part of the body also very can be clearly one piece of the bone, okay? Understand? So any kinds of the bone or skeleton, if you can see in your mind, just keeping on that object or that bone, bone or the skeleton. Keep on thinking that the image, on that image, your mind, keep on thinking, there is skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. And then you really get the picture in your mind and you feel familiar with this object. Thinking, keep on thinking, and they familiar. And you really remember with this skeletal object. Huh? Okay, so after you got a skeleton image in your mind, after four wind, about five, ten minutes later, about the, after you got a picture, the mind slowly, your mind slowly focus on your body. The direction will turn, the mind will look at it yourself. Understand? And also keep on thinking that all. Oh, Inside of my body also have the kind of skeleton. We know everybody inside has the bone, okay? All has skeleton. So we're trying to record and we're trying to concentrate. Can you see that? Concentrate. Concentrate on your body and think, oh, inside my body has the kind of skeleton. I have that skeleton. Or oh, slowly, slowly, your mind trying to remove all the muscle and all the organs, slowly trying to pr- remove from your body. In the end, only just remain in your body a skeleton. Only skeleton a sitting position or standing position, doesn't matter how you see. If you can get the image in your mind of skeleton, this we call the sign of concentration. This we call the meta for skeleton meditation. Understand? No? If you can think of skeleton in either external or inside, you really can feel what the image of the skeleton, there is good sign. Concentration object. No? So after you got the skeleton in your body, either the whole body or one part of the body is clear. On that clear part, you just awareness that the mind concentrate on that or the skeleton, skeleton on yourself. So you are looking to yourself, your skeleton. Your mind is looking to your skeleton. Sometimes you will see directly to you are looking. The mind is from overall from the in front to look at yourself. Sometimes you also will feel that your mind is here, your body is in front of you like a mirror. Inside the mirror, you will see your picture, the same as that. Your skeleton is in front of you. Both can happen, right in your body or in front of you, doesn't matter. You just, if you can see the skeleton image, you think that there is skeleton, my skeleton. So on that, you keep on thinking the skeleton, skeleton for one hour. So after for a while, after five, ten minutes, or you get that image, if you really can concentrate on that, after 10, 15 minutes time, you will feel very, very happy with that looking at that skeleton. There is concentration. We start to be happy with this skeleton object. The mind don't want to think of the object. The mind don't want to move to anywhere. Only like to stick on that object. There is absorption. Understand? Anapana also the same. Anapana, the day I did interview, <laughs> changing on the name of color and the brighter and stable. After you get a bright light and stable, our mind had to concentrate on that name to the bright light. The mind will keep on thinking that there's name it, name it, name it. Understand? And they, the mind don't want to go, don't want to think any other object. Only one point of the mind, this is we call absorption. The mind will stay with that object or the limiter, will feel very happy. The happiness with this object for a long time. One hour, you can stay one hour without wondering. This is we call the first gen. Understand? No? Understand? <laughs> so easy, you know? Just think and contemplate, okay? 
skeleton easier, but Annapurna not easy. Annapurna you had to wait until you get the nimitta arise. You had to control take care. So skeleton easy to think. For me now, I close my all of you. I look at it. I think it all skeleton very fast. All the skeleton sitting, all skeleton I'm smiling. This is good, you know. Can think you had to think like this. So very good, very good. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> The time of the Buddha, many people, many bhikkhus, bhikkhunis, when they go to the Pindaba or wherever they go in, on the, in India at the time, after people dying, they didn't bury and then they were put in the cemetery simply, you know. So you can see many corpses in the cemetery and also different level of the corpses that they did. It's just not I did explain that as about that. Sometimes skeleton, the bone, they also want to see. As soon as they, 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 if they found about that skeleton or the object or the, that body, many of the bhikkhu or some, they are very, very happy. Oh, we, you know why they are happy? Oh, we have meditation object. <laughs> we can contemplate, we can look at it. So if you see any dead body outside in the compound, are you happy or not happy? <laughs> Hey, meditation object, just now I did explain to all of you. Very good. Our skeleton, you see our skeleton here? Okay or not? Scared? I don't know why you're scared, you know. Many Asians are more, their fear is more than the Westerners sometimes, I can feel that, you know. No? So we learn a lot of Dharma. Oh, one day we had to die, after die, you know. So when the, everything went disappeared, we stay scared, you know. Uh, true or not? At, at, in, in, at home, in the families, if someone die at night, can you stay sleep alone? <laughs> yeah? Sometimes scared. Even your husband die, you stay scared. <laughs> you know, your wife die, also you are scared. If, even you heard about some sound in the midnight, scared or not scared? Understand? Scared or not scared? Very fear. Ne? <laughs> After your husband, your wife dying within two days, three days' time, when you heard about the noise, noise, you know he must be the ghost at home, okay, hungry ghost. Are you happy or not happy? Eh? Are you welcome? Or you want to tell them, oh, stay with us for the whole life? Can you say that? Please answer many people can understand English. <laughs> Happy? Mm, who said they're happy? <laughs> yeah, not happy. Scan the next day, go monastery, invite Bhante. Ah, please come and do chanting. My husband behind the ghost at home. We are scared and shoot him out. <laughs> uh, my wife like that, shoot him, shoot her out. In this, in, in here, if someone come and send to us the like a cop dead bodies, give us pleasant to all of you, are you happy? <laughs> Understand that? Happy or not happy? No. no. You didn't have bad luck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but at the time of the Buddha, they feel a very good luck when they see that, wow, oh, then we can get a good, good present for them, you know? So they can concentrate on that. They can practice meditation. This meditation object. So they feel very, very happy. We must be happy when people send to us that body. And I say, so we can contemplate. You know? <laughs> I, I told everybody, whoever died, you want to come here? Okay, we have many pine trees. Next time I get grow, so I will give you one, one, one pine tree. And I say, no need to pay, free or charge. <laughs> year 1999. I was in England at Amnawadi Buddhist Center. So, so I have been teaching for the nuns and for the lay people and Agarikas too for six, six months. So then the, the one day, so someone had died, devoted, one of the devotees passed away. Then after that, the family brought their cops, their son, you know, so then brought to the monastery and they dana to the monastery. Understand? So the, in the shy, in the shy, we had a small room behind on the shy. We got the kind of, and then the, the, it's not, not too big, just a bit small. No? So at that place, we always keep it. They always like to keep the, the cops there. 
whoever sent to the monastery, they put there, they have put it there. So, and also they are very, very happy. I was shocked. <laughs> so in our, in our culture, it sent to you, you are not so happy, you know. So that's, but they put it very properly. And they put a lot of flower, lily flower. Then day and night, many monks and nuns went inside, and we contemplate and look at it very long time. Look at that body until midnight. You all will run away, okay? <laughs> so hey, look, 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 and then they ask me to teach. So I explain, well, I'm so happy then. So I explain about that body. That's really you can see very easy. Open your eyes and look at that body, a corpse, you know. Look at Ante in our mind. Ante is very, very familiar. So after looking for a while, in our mind, we know that that body, okay? So after that, you close your eyes and try to recall again that the same corpse in your mind. Understand? Not? So in our mind, we get the picture of the corpse. We remember. So after we get the corpse, we just contemplate that body. Asubha, that body, no? Reposes now on that body, and within that, asubha, asubha, asubha. After all, we will feel very, very happy with that object in your mind, that concentration. So slowly, slowly, we concentrate on that body for one hour, more than one hour, after 20 minutes, and we feel happy, slowly can enter the first jhana also. Easy or not easy? Anapana more difficult, you know? So very easy. So I was so happy. I, I felt very happy with all the monks and nuns in there. So they were really, doesn't even dim people, what is the ghost? And they, they just concentrate, no? So in this way, you can contemplate that, no? Understand, no? So I just want you to understand easily how we contemplate about meditation object, no? So another one also, the time of the Buddha, you all know that the disciple, the top one, you know, so the right hand side is Brunamba Sariputra, left side is Brunamba Moggallana. Both of them in the many, many of the past life, they have been together. They prefer about Parami, Parami and perfection. No? We have ten types of perfection. Understand? Parami, no? ten kinds of Parami. They have been practicing for many, many lifetimes. After the Buddha, they have the longest one. Good parami, we call it good profession. Good parami means in the many or the past lifetime, the person always like to practice for good things, wholesome things. That is we call parami, good parami. No? Like a Buddha too, ten kinds of parami, just for general knowledge. No? Also, not only Buddha and the disciple also need to practice. We also need to practice. Even we meditate without good karma, very difficult to get good result. We need many other good things to support to get good result easily, no? For the mature of our parami also part of it. There's a dana, generosity, perfection of generosity, perfection of the morality, perfection of renunciation. Profession of wisdom, profession of effort, profession of truthfulness, profession of metta, loving kindness, and it's a profession of the effort, including no? and uh, kindly, patient, profession of um, the resolution, determination, profession of equanimity. We had ten types of parami. So many of the Buddha and disciples have been practicing so many lifetimes because of that. Who have practiced so many lifetimes on that kind of parami, parami is mature, their wisdom is at the highest, how much they have based on that. The highest one is because of good parami, they have been accumulating many lifetimes. So no so good parami one <laughs> cannot get highest wisdom. So based on the many disciples have different level of wisdom because of previous practice. Mm? So in the past, like, who always practice for meditation, good precept, and always contemplate about the nature of the body, the kind of people. So in the last time, like, for me, it's mature. Even just listen, short Dhamma talk, oh, so they can awaken. They get a wisdom arise very easily. No? So based on parami too. No? So venerable, both of the venerable people, they have been very good, and they, they have born in the... India, and then uh, 
both of them were born in a rich family. So, so the parents were very, very rich too. So they don't need to work so hard. So the, what they did, they did to go for the show and then they need to see about the concert and then dancing, listening, music, that kind of thing. So that one day, they, both of them went to that one of the concert and they have, been such, they have also watching the show on the stage with that time, the, all the dancer were dancing on the stage and also singing the song, you know. So when they heard about the song and also when after for a while were looking at the picture of the dancer dancing, so in the mind they have the parmi have matured. So in the mind they arose in their minds that all the dancer the picture of the dancer becomes skeleton. All the skeleton are moving on the stage. Understand? So the kind of picture appear, happen in their mind. Understand? So when they saw about the kind of picture, they was not happy with the, the dancer. <laughs> <coughs> then also, they also contemplated at the same time. Many people have been watching that concert. No? So then... Many people, when the dancers sing and then sometimes joke, they were so happy, very happy. No? So when they cry, everybody was upset again. Understand now when we watch movie, sometimes you watch movies, sometimes happy on the object, how you feel it. If you're really interested, you also will feel the feeling on you. Understand? So they also the same. Many people have been and they're crying and they're happy time, happy. So they look at it. Why is that meaning? There is why people have been waiting short time. When do we all have to die? So before die, within that period of now and the, for that dying moment, sometimes we're happy. Happy also after die we disappear. Unhappy also with limit. After die. No more happen. Where disappear? So when they are now condition always stop. Understand? Now? Always change. There is the wisdom arose. That's why they contemplate in this way. After die, what will happen? We also wear the care of the care of skeleton. Why is meaning we are looking for that? Many less and wasting time. Because of contemplating there is a wisdom arise, you know. Because of that wisdom. So start to feel about refocusness about the nature of our body and the nature of the, the condition, understand? So in the end, they want to search the truth, where we can get. Now because everything happened because of rebirth, you know? So when you have the rebirth, where keep on happen like this, crying and happy, and where continues always, you know? True or not? So... You had died, the nature of you had river will die. Understand? You have suffering. In the end, you, we also must find no more suffering. Why is no more suffering in the place there? Nibbana. In Nibbana, no more suffering. Understand? No, no more river again, again. Because we have river. We had the death. So we are suffer. When death lasts, no more death. No more suffering. So we were fine. Not to get, we were trying to get the, the peace of the Nibbana, that less place. We want to find the Dharma. So from there, both of them were not interested in to watch the show continuously. And then they went out from there, and they are searching the teacher who can guide us. They are looking for the teacher to give them the Dharma. Understand? So... Just now, I have explained to all of you things about skeleton. Understand not clearly. Understand not how to contemplate skeleton. Can you imagine skeleton? Yeah, can think. Can think. This is real thing. I have skeleton. They also have skeleton. Everybody is skeleton. So easy. <laughs> Understand not. So after you got an image and the thinking, what happened? Are you scared or scared? Not scared with your skeleton. Not scared. So I'm tired only, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we had to contemplate in the, oh, one day we'll happen like this. So what fault, you know? Always rebirth again and again. We don't want rebirth again, no? So we were fine. That leprous, that less, no? Nibbana. There is such in the teacher, no? 
So, okay. So after that, Venerable Sariputra met Venerable Asachi. Asachi mean then the, from the five bhikkhus, the first Dhammata who lives in the Machaka Pautana Sutta. So from there, five bhikkhus, the youngest one, the youngest the bhikkhus, he met he met Venerable Sariputra met for the bhikkhus, the Mahatira. So the Mahatira will explain to him one sentence of the ma. After listening, he begins sort of an, only one sentence. <laughs> I talk more than one hour, no? So, <laughs> parami, parami different, no? <laughs> parami is different. So, yeah. Then uh, he went back, uh, he met uh, remember Moglana, his friend. So uh, the day, his, uh, his uh, the appearance is very serene and uh, very quiet. So his friend saw about that. So my, 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 my friend might have some kind of dharma. So he was totally different from the every day. So after that, Venerable Sariputra also explained to the Venerable Moggallana, I met the Mahatma, one of the Mahatma Asaji, and then he preached me about dharma. After listening, I understood more about the dharma. So he explained the same as the, what Venerable explained to him. So that he, when, after he explained, Panoramoklana, also after listening, he became sort of fun. So easy, two of them. Because the two of them have been practicing together for many lifetimes, good parami. So after listening, they felt very easy for them. The Dhamma is rose to them. They understood very clearly. And they didn't know that everything, when they all the way, you know, everybody, everywhere is impermanent. Correct or not? So all the conditions, all the, because of that conditions arise, because of that cause, effect will rise. Understand? No? Everything has the cause in everywhere. Every object has the cause. Can you believe that? We, our body here, our body has the cause, karma, in the behind, you know, in the past. That cause produced us to get the effect now. Now we do again good things, and you will get good life, and you do about bad things, you will get bad. Condition, bad rebirth. We can say that like animal, ghost, or a bad rebirth. Because we break the prison and we do a unwholesome thing, then it's the cause and effect. So every condition has the cause and effect. And also unstable, always disappear, cannot hold it. So always in nature, dukkha anatta. Oh, just very simple, simple sentence. We believe that. Can we believe that? Can you believe that? Everything has a cause and effect. Even the tree, you know that? All have conditions. So join together. Without water, the tree cannot grow. Without the seed, cannot grow. Without the soil, cannot grow. So all have to support the condition, the cause. Because of that three causes combined together, we have the tree, we have the plants, have been. So everything, every object, internal, external, we can observe within short time, we think about that, very fast, the Dhamma will rise to your heart, no? <coughs> the Dhamma is true understanding, no? <laughs> Understand, no? Can you all believe? <laughs> can you believe? Yes. Impermanence. Our body is impermanence. Mm. Can you believe that? Uh, impermanence is changing, no? cannot hold it. Always will come and go. Everything arising will disappear. That is the nature of impermanence. Everything, everything, even the feeling and the element sensation in your body, everything always disappear. No? Okay, that's why we need to understand the Dhamma more. So when we have Dhamma, our life is easier. You don't feel much suffering. Anything changing, you don't feel suffering. If not, you always think that this is my, my family, my husband, my wife. A lot of suffering for you. <laughs> a lot of worry. Worry also suffering. Nah? So there is everything happened by the attachment. So can cut attachment in contemplating about impermanence thing. Always one day we come here and go in this way. Nah? So that's why we need not only theoretical knowledge, 
Tirunakar knowledge, okay, but can't really hold it, no? Practical, we need practical knowledge. That is very important. That's why we need concentration mind. After we had a concentration, very easy to see clearly inside. When we see but clearly by experience, so for the whole life, you don't need to practice again, 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 again. Just contemplate, okay, already. So we need the first experience to get Nibbana, object of the Sotapa, Maka, and Pala, we say that. So when only easier for you to always can go back again to the, the sensation, no? attainment or sensation, attainment or fruition is a really peace will happen by practice. No? So sorry for a long talk. No? So then I just want you to contemplate about that. And in many wondering it disturb to your practice, Contemplate in this way, no, not to attach too much and think really about impermanence thing, no. So just short time, we just trying to. If grief happen, just gonna, oh one day we have to die. When I have die, oh I have to let go. Why is your worry? Why is your attached? And contemplating on a cut out attachment, understand? Then after that, go back to the breathing will be easier. Understand? So in this way, you all can try. If after trying, you really can see what the kind of skeleton image appear, you can carry on skeleton object also for until you get a jhana. Understand? If you are not happy there, can come back to the breathing again. So the time, the mind will be very happy with the breathing. Thank you very much to everybody now.